Okay, okay, okay. We're here. We're back from week eight. It is now week nine. Yes. Halloween is over. Some of these games are pretty scary, and I hated them. Like Monday night, hated it. I lost. Um, but we're going to move on. That was bad. That was, that bad. was bad. That was a shit pumping. Yep. But we're going to move on. It's now week nine. The football season's like kind of like half over. It's okay. Why we're on earth would you say that? I don't know. I just thought. <laughs> <laughs> don't say that. But it's true, though. Yeah, it doesn't mean you have to say it. I guess you're right. But we're going to bet on every game to make up for it. I don't know. Maybe not every we game. bet on most of them. We're going to bet on football to make up for our happiness. Yeah. So. Uh, this past week, I went five and four. Another mediocre week for me yet again, but uh, I hit my surefire pick yet again. I am seven and zero oh on my surefire picks. Can't be stopped. I. It's kind of baffling how how how, how I've been able to win these. <laughs> I'm happy for you, but I'm incredibly jealous. Yes. <laughs> you you're right. <laughs> you're right to do that. But thanks. Yeah. So <laughs> our surefire pick double unit play really set me over on the uh, on the oh, on the like over units. But on the season, I'm 31 and 31 and one. I'm as even as you could be. But that's I mean. Yeah, that's something. <laughs> that's it. Chris, how'd you do? Uh, I went an even four and four. And um, I set into a microphone this one, actually that the Bengals were going to beat the hell out of the Cleveland Browns. Not in so many words, probably in more words, actually. And the opposite happened. Uh, that that was rough. I knew from about probably like the first quarter, I was like, yeah, this ain't, this ain't going to I didn't know it was going to go that poorly, but I was like, this ain't hidden. <laughs> <laughs> when, the, when the Browns made that two-point conversion, I was like, Oh yeah, they're that the, they're was not it. covering. That they're not was covering. like the I knew before. I was like, no, like it yeah. will take a lot because they were playing like shit. But when they hit that to go up eight nothing, I was like, yeah, the, yeah, this a lot of weird stuff. The same happen. Yeah, and they, they just couldn't hang. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> not even a little. It might have been over when they were showing clips from Miles Garrett walking in, dressed in like that dude from uh, Stranger Stranger Things. That dude loves Halloween too much. Yeah, I knew it was over probably in that moment. Yeah, actually. Yep. Quarterback graveyard. Anyway, Sean, how'd you do? I went seven and three. Oh, wow. Uh, missed my surefire pick, so not great. But <laughs> seven and three, can't complain about it. Brings my overall record of 35, 30, and two. I'm Pretty 34, good. 30, and two. There you go. Damn you. There you go. Okay. I'm the best. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, major snipe with the Derrick Henry over rushing. Oh, it hit even it before even the close. first half was over. <laughs> yeah, that was. That I would was say cash before the the coin was flipped. I would say that one and the Saints plus two were my like best like predictions. Yeah, of the week. Those might have been like the easiest bets ever. Which is I why mean, they were my best. I mean, yes, yes. No. <laughs> I'm not saying of the week. Those might. I'm saying. Ever. Oh, <laughs> well, thank you. All right, let's get into the games. First game, we have the Vikings at the Manders. Vikings are favored by three and a half. All of these lines are brought to you by the Action 24-7 Sportsbook. Chris, talk to me. This week kind of sucks. Yeah, this slate isn't. The slate. There's yeah. so many The fact many we're leading weeks. off with Vikings commanders, like, I guess – Kirk Cousins revenge game, kinda. Maybe, but yeah, <laughs> but uh, I'm not backing Kirk Cousins in his revenge game. Manders plus three and a half. Uh, Heineke's got this team buzzing. Three game win streak. I still think the Vikings are frauds. I know I bet against them against them last week. They burned me bad, kind of. Even though the Cardinals muffed a punt with about two minutes left in the game, but it's whatever. But I'm going Commanders plus three and a half here. I think this team has a new kind of buzz about them. I love Taylor Heineke. <laughs> yeah, I he's, think he's, he's the guy. awesome. He's fun to watch. He never like they never should have signed Carson Wentz. No, no. Like that wow. dude stinks. Yes, but uh, I had I found so we have Heineke. An interesting little stat: 
Just about Washington Commanders quarterbacks or backup quarterbacks in general. The last 12 games were a Washington, whatever you want, the professional football team that plays in Landover, Maryland, whatever name they had at this point. Uh huh. Over the last 12 games where a backup quarterback has played, 9 2 and 1 against the spread. Three. Commanders, three and a half. Heineke time. It's pretty wild. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I found that one. I was like, oh, let's go. <laughs> that plus my hatred of Kirk Cousins. Let's go. John, what do you think? Uh, Kirk Cousins revenge game. Vikings <laughs> <laughs> minus three and a half. Noon game. Yep. No one's going to watch this game. He's going to sling it for 400 yards. I mean, commanders See, are hot. Commanders are hot right now, but so are the Vikings. And I just, I love this matchup. I think it makes sense to take the Vikings here. I had trouble picking this, if you can't tell. <laughs> yeah. But I'm trying to talk myself into into keeping it. But Chris keeps throwing stats around like it's candy. Also, isn't this like a Kirk Cousins needs to play well in this game? Yeah. Maybe. That's That's whenever he good. needs to play well, he doesn't. Mm. I mean, commander's defense. Yeah. Vikings defense? <laughs> 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 Not Sorry, a, continue. Not as bad. Continue. I didn't mean to interrupt you. It's okay. I was kind of done. I, just, uh. <laughs> I, like, I don't know what else to say about this game other than this is just purely <laughs> Kirk Cousins' revenge tour. Like, he's out here saying he can win the AFC North and he will win the AFC North. NFC. NFC. God damn it. The NFC North. I'm also on the Vikings. Uh, I just think they're just a better team. And. You know, they traded for TJ Hawkinson. That's not, like, a fantastic move, but it was a, it's a definite upgrade at tight end because Irv Smith, I think he had a season-ending injury, which is why they got TJ Hawkinson. Um, and that just really tells me that they're going all in this season. They're, they're really going for it. And they, I mean, they should. I mean, they are. Sorry, go ahead. Didn't mean to cut you off. It's fine. Um, I was going to agree with you if that makes you feel any better. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't feel bad about about <laughs> this pick. Uh, I feel pretty good. Um, but I mean, Commanders are looking for a new owner, which is kind of good for them. That's phenomenal. Yeah. yeah that's that just, factors in. I think that definitely does factor in. <laughs> the uh, The vibes are kind of high over there, but I I don't understand how the Vikings are only favored by three and a half. To be honest, like they beat they beat the Cardinals, which honestly was a a slam dunk win for them because Cardinals played Kyler Murray, and then the new Call of Duty came out. I can't believe I bet on the Cardinals when I didn't know that going into (laughs) yeah before I I said that out loud. Like bet on that was betting on the Cardinals. I wish. Yeah. Stupid. Yeah. It's okay. We live and we learn. I mean, I, I just think the Vikings are overall just a better team. Uh, that's basically it. So, let's move on. Next game, Packers at Lions. The Packers are favored by three and a half. It's in Detroit. This game stinks. I think this yeah, game – Kind of all these games kind of stink. Yeah, this is a yeah. rough <laughs> slate. This is a rough slate. <laughs> but I think this game specifically will stink. Packers cannot put up points. And past few weeks, the Lions cannot put up points. The Lions just traded away TJ Hawkinson, as I just said. Not that they used him to his full potential, uh, because I, I'm pretty sure like the Lions are a pretty run heavy team. But still, like, they're giving up on the season. They gave up. Trading away their their starting tight end, who's like the fourth or best fifth. Best tight end in the league. They're giving up. They are giving up on this season. I mean, they should. They, they suck. Yeah. So, I am taking under 49 and a half because neither of these teams can put up points. Aaron Rodgers is probably going to win because he doesn't lose against the Lions. But I'm, I'm taking an under. Under 49 and a half, that's way too high for these, for these teams. So, mm. 
that's what I got. Chris? This game does stink. This feels very trappy, but I'm, I'm, I'm taking the cheese. No pun intended. <laughs> so you're not taking the I'm cheese. I'm not taking the cheese, I guess, because I'm betting on the Lions you're taking the rat plus poison. three and a half. Yes, I'm taking the rat poison. <laughs> I'm taking the Lions plus three and a half. I know it's smelly. It makes no sense. But I don't think the Packers should be favored against an NFL team with a pulse. They suck, dude. The Lions are also very bad, but at least I feel like they're kind of like trying their hardest. At least Aaron Rodgers, I think he's he's kind of given up. Yeah, he's probably checked out. I think he. I don't know if he really cares that much. Especially, I mean, they made no effort to get him any weapons at the trade deadline. Lion, I don't love it <laughs> because it's again, it's stinky as hell. But I'm taking the Lions plus three and a half. All right, John, what do you think? I'm going to take the cheese. Pun intended. Aaron Rodgers just does not lose to the Lions. And if I had to pick a side, I'm going to take the favorite in this game. It's hard to bet against Aaron Rodgers against the Lions. He has given up. I can, you can see it. You can see that he has absolutely given mm-hmm. up. But if he's going to go out there and play and snap this losing streak, it's going to be against the Lions. I could definitely see that, yeah, putting that together. Definitely. Next game, we have the Chargers at the Falcons. The Chargers are favored by three and a half. It's in Atlanta. Chris, talk to me. This is the first game that we've talked about that might actually be, like, entertaining. Yes. It has a potential Both to be good. Both offenses are, like, pretty good. Uh, I mean, the Falcons' defense, man, it's atrocious. Yeah. For that reason, I'm taking over 49 and a half. That's a very high number. But, I mean, the Falcons, are, <laughs> their defense is so bad. P.J. Walker, who was this time last year was starting in the XFL, through all over them. I mean, Justin Herbert, I think he's a little overrated, but he's still a good quarterback. Yeah, yeah. I think, I mean, and the Chargers defense is not very good. It's also not healthy, so that doesn't help. Mm -hmm. But they're not, at the moment, they're not very good. I think both teams will be able to score borderline at will over 49 and a half. All right. Sean, what do you think? I think a man named Austin Eckler is going to absolutely run them into the ground. I can see that. I think he could put up Derrick Henry numbers next week. No, no, he can't. But <laughs> <laughs> Maybe all purpose? Um, yeah, not on purpose. <laughs> but I'm going to take Chargers minus three and a half here. Uh, coming off a of bye week, Chargers need a win. Pretty bad to stay relevant in the AFC West especially with a game that we're going to be talking about in a few minutes coming up in the AFC West. So they need to stay relevant. They need a win here. I think they get it done by a touchdown. So I'm going to get it at minus three and a half while it's still available. All right. That's fair. Um, I'm taking the Falcons plus three and a half. Um, I think this is a bit of a rat line. Uh, I do think that the Chargers' offense is – it has the potential to be one of, like, one of the top-tier offenses in the league, but their defense is just – can't really hang all that much. And, you know, like you said, they're beat up. Um, Both defenses are very beat up. Yeah, that's very true. Um, but I'm riding the Dirty Birds. They haven't, they haven't covered in the last two weeks, but that puts them 6-2 and two against the spread. On the season? Mm -hmm. You're leaving one thing out when you're saying the Atlanta Falcons. You mean to say the division leading Atlanta Falcons. Uh, Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Put some respect. You're right. (laughs) My fault. The division leading Atlanta Falcons are either going to win this game or only lose by three. So that's why (laughs) I am taking the Atlanta Falcons plus three and a half. Next game, afternoon game. This game... Last year would have been awesome. Would have been amazing. And when they did play in the playoffs last year, it was, it was awesome. It was pretty awesome. Yeah, it was. 
<laughs> this year, this week, week nine, this game stinks. Not this game. I never thought I'd not be excited for a game like this. I'm talking but. about Rams at Bucks. Bucks are favored by three. It's in Tampa. Oh, God, I hate this game. <laughs> Tom Brady looks terrible. The Rams look terrible. Their O-line is terrible. The Bucks O-line's terrible. Both defenses are terrible. But I'm taking the Bucks minus three. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Leonard Fournette can pop off this game for some reason. I don't know. Just a, just a hunch. So, right. oh, my God. Rams Rams O line is probably one of the worst O lines in the league, and I hate yeah. it. Yeah. So, but what do you guys think, Sean? I'll let you kick this one. All right. Uh, well, I agree with you. So, Bucks minus three. Uh, this is a very much get right game for Tom Brady and company. Yeah, he needs he needs a uh, some revenge after he his D word divorce. Yes. <laughs> we can say it. What if he hears this? It sounds like you're talking about his privates. Oh, I guess you're right. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. When you said that, I was almost like, dick? Like, <laughs> <laughs> what happened to his dick? <laughs> he needs revenge from his dick. He's taking it out on the Rams. <laughs> He's taking his dick out on the Rams. <laughs> Okay. Um, okay. Bucks minus three. It's actually much more sad than that. <laughs> We're good. But it's yeah, funny to man's us. life is. Yeah, it's funny to us. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can have worse problems than being the best football player of all time. That's, Sorry. That's fair. Um, that's fair. So, uh, he's lost three games in a row now. I believe so. Yeah. No way he loses another one. You think? Yeah. You think? Yeah. You think? You think? He's got the weapons. He's got the offense. Yeah. To do this, I don't see why he can't at least cover. Yeah, yeah. And, Mather, and Mather. worse comes to worse, it's tied, and then Ryan Suckup just comes in and kicks a game-winning kick to push. I'll take that. Yeah, I'll take that. You know who Matthew Stafford has? Interceptions. A wife. <laughs> 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 I mean, uh, both are true. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Oh, man. Okay, this one's going off the rails. Yeah, no, this is pretty good. <laughs> it's kind of <it's> <laughs> great, though. Chris, what do you think about this game? Well, I agree with what you said in the beginning. This game stinks. All these games, like you said, stink. For that reason, I'm taking under 42 and a half. You're telling these two teams can't score more than six touchdowns? You would. Yeah. I would when be you surprised put it like that. When you put it like, it like yeah. that. <laughs> it's like no, they can't. <laughs> like, how but many... you're like, but you're like, they should be able to. In like years prior, yeah, but honestly, I don't think this one's going to be even that close. This one might be like twenty to seventeen or something like that. Mm. Mm. Bucks, right? Yeah, of course. Sure. Okay, cool. <laughs> just give me that push. I don't care. Okay, I'll give you twenty-one seventeen. There you go. Okay. Uh, I think this like game's that. just going to be just gross. Yeah. Like just, I mean, neither offense can do anything. Is this the is this the game of the week? Yep. We have to watch this game. Wolf. Cowboys aren't playing. Yeah. So it definitely. Yeah. Is. Yeah. yeah. No, this True. game's going to suck. So under forty two and a half. This is like one you just like sit back and just maybe not even just have it on the background. Yeah. You're doing something else. This is the afternoon nap game. Or that. Oh, that'd be, yeah, you wake up, it's the third quarter, it's like 10 to 7. <laughs> Bucks. <laughs> <laughs> and you ride out the next couple hours until Sunday night football. Exactly. Which is the next game we're talking about. Sunday oh, night football. That was smooth. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I, uh, nice. Just right off the dome. Anyway, Sunday night football, Titans at Chiefs. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be at Boot, Arrowhead. Boots on the ground? Boots on the ground. I know I've been hogging all the, the first explanations of these games, but I don't care. This week, I will be an Arrowhead. I will be repping the Titans. 
and I will be taking Titans plus 12 and a half. I don't care. We'll probably lose by a lot. But I cannot bet against my own team. That's fair. Especially if I'm there. So. Especially on foreign soil. Exactly. How could, I, how could I do that? What kind of fan would I be? <laughs> Titans, 12 and a half. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Chris? The Titans suck. Yeah, we suck. Like, I'm just, I, five and two, yes. Never apologize for five and two. This team kind of sucks. It's an ugly five and two. <laughs> it's uh, about as ugly as you can get yeah. for five and two. Uh, the Chiefs, I mean, this is Sunday Night Football in Arrowhead. This is a prime, just Patrick Mahomes is going to be in his bag, just doing these cute little spin moves and just weird passes that make no sense that will end up going for, like, 50 yards. Ah. <laughs> uh, I can't bet against the Titans, I'm, so I'll, I'm just going to take the over, 46 and a half. The Chiefs might score all 47. They they won't, but – That's fair. I think the Chiefs are that – and the Titans' offense, like, Tan Hill will be back. We will be able to put up some points, but I just – I'm sorry, Titans, but the Chiefs will run away with this one. That's fair. I'd probably take the over if I wasn't going. John? Well, I'm not going, so I'm going to take the over. <laughs> um <laughs> Yeah, just I feel like this is the best thing I can do as mm-hmm. a Titans fan without betting against them. Yes. And without losing money, which is important also. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's why we do this. Yeah. To not lose money. To not lose money. <laughs> <laughs> so, lost enough money already mm-hmm. this year. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not going to happen again. Not going to happen this week. Not going to happen on Sunday night. Titans, Chiefs, over 46 and a half. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, now main slate's done. Now we're going on to our surefires. Sean, what is your surefire of the week? My surefire pick of the week will be Bills at Jets under 47 and a half. I know what you're thinking. Your surefire picks an under? That's disgraceful. Mine was. In a yeah, last week. Last week, yeah. But I mean, still, yeah, I get it. I'm now directly talking to Josh Allen. So if you're watching, you're not. But if you are, you throwing that interception at the three to not cover the ten and a half on Sunday night football was a disgrace. And for that reason, I'm going to bet that you score the least amount of points this week. Oh, oh, I hate. Oh. I don't hate Josh Allen. He's kind of cool. Yeah, but he's, awesome. he's, he's, he's pretty <laughs> awesome. But <laughs> he screwed me. Screwed me last week. And I'm a little bit mad at him. Yeah. But the Bills have only hit the over once. The Jets have only hit the over twice. So this only makes sense to hit the under for this week. Hell yeah. Division rivals, these games get – Tight, mucky, mucky, mm-hmm. tight, whatever you want to call it. But, yeah, I cannot bet this over. I cannot bet the spread, but I want to bet this game. So that is my surefire pick of the week. Bills, Jets, under 47 and a half. It's honestly, it's shocking the Jets have hit the over more times than the Bills. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I think their lines are just lower. That's true. Bills, I mean, but so still, I mean, it's like, I mean. Jets, especially yeah. they had Joe Flacco for th- two or three weeks. <laughs> yeah, senior citizen is there. <laughs> he threw the ball like starting 60 times in a game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chris, I did my little Josh Allen rant. Now I'd love to hear what your surefire pick is. Okay, first of all, thank you, Josh Allen, because I had the Packers last week. <laughs> I love you. Not, I can't even look at you. <laughs> <laughs> so last week. I went on a, I had a very passionate speech about how the Cincinnati Bengals were going to shit pump the Cleveland Browns. That didn't happen. So I'm not going to go on some rant. I'm just going to tell you some, a couple facts real quick. First of all, Seahawks plus two is my surefire. I guess I should have said that first. <laughs> my boy, Geno Smith, in his career as an underdog. 17, 10, and 2 against the spread. That hmm. little bitch, <laughs> Kyler Murray, in his career versus the NFC, NFC West. 
six, eleven, and two against the spread. One quarterback rocks Geno Smith. The other quarterback is a little midget. <laughs> Kyler Murray. Geno Smith. This isn't even Seahawks plus two. This is Geno Smith plus two. Mm. Let's go. He's playing like he's like back at West Virginia. Like it's kind of crazy. Yeah, he's like having fun playing. He's football. throwing dimes. It's almost like you take a guy out of the Jets organization and that cures everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, I love Geno Smith. This guy is electric and I hate the Cardinals. So Seahawks plus two. Will? I mean, what, 7-0 and on Surefires. What's your next winner? Hmm. Interesting. Time to put on my tinfoil hat because I'm a part of two and on. I am taking the Dolphins minus four and a half against the Chicago Bears. <laughs> I don't care that they acquired Chase Claypool. Sure, the Bears have been playing better. But as long as Tua starts a game and finishes it, they are undefeated. It's true. So if he stays Is that in. true? This it season. is true. This season. this season? Yeah. Bears trade away Roquan Smith. That guy rocks. He does kind of rock. The Dolphins rock. Yeah, they do. Bears are without one player that rocks. And that's Roquan Smith. I'm taking the Dolphins. Two and on all the way. I'm a part of two and on. I believe in Tua. Dolphins minus four and a half. All right. The bid is over. <laughs> God, that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so now that we got our short fires out of the way, um, they will all be parlayed on the Action 24 7 yes. Sportsbook. Yes, along with the Bandit All Dog Parlay that we put out every week. You can find that exclusively on the Actions Action page of the Action 24 7 Sportsbook. It's just there if you want it. Yeah. Really? If you yeah. like money. If you like money. Yeah. yeah. It's boosted. It is. It will be boosted. So let's go to the rest of our cards. Sean, what is the rest of your card? Can you pass me that hat? I will pass you that hat. Okay. Pass him the hat. Come on, Chris. I'm trying. To, I don't want to disrupt the structure. All right. I guess this looks okay. Um, yeah. I'm also going to take the fins minus four and a half. Let's go. Because. Because I took it. Well, yeah, but <laughs> they're just a better team. They are a better team. Uh, they are also 6-0 and against the spread after scoring 30 points in the previous game. Whoa. <laughs> like, ever? In their last at least six. Oh, okay. In their last at least <laughs> six games of scoring, yeah. of scoring 30-plus <laughs> points in the previous game, they cover the next game. Shit. Wow. So – I love it. That's after seeing cool, after yeah. seeing the curb stomp that the Bears took against the Cowboys, Damn straight. I feel very confident in taking half of what that Cowboys spread was. Fins, minus four and a half. I will not claim that I'm a part of two and on. I think that's too close to another dark web website, but that's well, neither here nor there. Allegedly. Well, it's but, just a bit, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just something that I thought would be funny, but all right. <laughs> so, yeah, my little rant is over. And we're going to get that out of here. We'll just, just gonna put it up right there. Yeah, cool. Um, I will also be taking the Panthers plus seven against the Bengals. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. But P.J. Walker, dude. Dude. He's a stud. Houston Roughnecks legend. Legend. Yeah. P.J. Walker. Legend. P.J. Walker, stud. Dog. Whatever you want to call him. Also, this was a very short week for the Bengals. Yeah. yeah. They got their they got their keisters kicked. Panthers plus seven, short week. Bengals, PJ Walker, Houston Roughnecks legend, stud. All right, moving on. Jags money line. This is plus money. My card is icky. Yeah. My card's icky. <laughs> Jags are on a five game losing streak right now. If you didn't know. Yeah, bet on last week. This is a get-right game, and they're playing the 
terrible, terrible Las Vegas Raiders. They're worse than the Broncos. Yeah, they are. God, can we just can we just take one sec? Can we just take one sec? That we don't have to bet on or against Russell Wilson this week. Yeah. Let's okay. just let's just let's just say a quick amen. Amen. I'm pretty stoked. Go. I'm pretty stoked on that. So yeah, Jags money line. <laughs> Raiders are they don't look good. I don't like this, but I'm I'm gonna take it because it's plus money. Chris, give me the rest of your card. Well, I didn't have this originally, but y'all are seeing my connection. Oh. oh, I'll put this silly little thing on. Two and on. I got yeah. Dolphins minus four. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. You can tell I'm not on. as stoked, but uh, <laughs> I do love the Dolphins. Again, I am responsibly addicted to betting on them. Uh, they covered last week, which was awesome. Uh, so I'll take them again minus four and a half. Let's go. Um, Jags Raiders. I do agree. It is a get right game. But for the other team, Raiders, minus one and a half. We need to stop pretending that Trevor Lawrence has the potential to be a good quarterback in this league. This guy sucks. Mm. I know the Raiders are awful on defense, but I mean, I think they can put up some sort of a fight. So I'll go Raiders minus one and a half on the road. They stayed out, uh, out east. For this, they played New Orleans last week. They're staying in the area, then they're going to go to Jacksonville for this game. Uh, Good team building exercise. Smart. Maybe they'll go bowling or I don't know, whitewater rafting or some shit. Team building, they'll be ready. Raiders minus one and a half. And then this one kind of sucks. Colts plus five and a half against the Patriots. Oh, this is worse than my Jags pick. <laughs> the Patriots, I, they are bad. I know they just beat the Jets, but they are bad. They shouldn't be five and a half point favorites against. It's similar to the Packers. They shouldn't be five and a half points favorites against. They're not. No, the Patriots are bad. Oh, the Patriots. Sorry. The Colts are bad, too. Don't get me wrong. Okay. but You Sam say Ellinger, bad, and I just think Colts. So the Colts are bad, mistake. too. Don't get me wrong. But with Sam Ellinger, I mean, he's not good. But that offense seemed like that had some sort of life now that they don't have 80-year-old man Matt Ryan at quarterback. So, I'm taking Colts plus five and a half. That is a stinker. But I think they keep it within the number. And uh, that's my card. Short card this week, especially compared to last week. But I like it. All winners. So, the rest of my card, I have panthers Bengals over 42. Um, Bengals can put up points. Not against the Browns, apparently. But... The yeah. Panthers' defense stinks, dude. They might be able to spread that ball around with Houston Roughnecks legend P.J. Walker. Don't you forget. Um, but they also don't have much of a pass rush, the Panthers. And that's really what, what kills the Bengals. And so Bengals are going to be able to put up points. And Bengals' defense also stinks. And so the Panthers are going to be able to put up points. And 42, I feel like that's really low for this game. And so I'm taking the over. Add it to my card. I like it. All right. Um, And then I have the opposite of Chris's last pick. I have the Pats favored by five and a half because the Colts are – Ride with him on one, and he just goes right against me. (laughs) (laughs) The Colts are in shambles right now. They just they just fired their offensive coordinator. They just traded away Naheem Hines, and they have a no name at quarterback. Texas legend, Texas legend, Sam Ellinger. Oh, is is Texas in the NFL? The answer is no. And so I'm taking the Pats, coached by Bill Belichick. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I want to hug you real tight around your neck. <laughs> well, whatever. Whatever. Uh, so, I'm taking the Pats. Pats, uh, I mean, like, Mac Jones and Bailey Zappi, whatever crazy combination they come up with this week, I, I'm sure it will be enough to cover the number. And so... 
that's it. Um, that's going to be it for us this week. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please follow us on everything. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Um, the link to uh, all of our social pages is in the link in the description. Um, it's on everything, whether you're on Spotify or you're uh, you're watching this on YouTube, or if you're listening to this on like Apple Podcasts or any anything really. It's all. It's always going to be there. We love you. Yep. Uh, it's how much we care. Yeah. And when you follow us, you'll get the bandit parlay. You'll get the bandit pick of the week, which might be worth fading, um, <laughs> because he is doing terrible. He's cold. He's probably going to pick the Texans this week. He's due. Yeah. He's. <laughs> but he is due for a win. He's due. So. Yeah. We shall see. And so. Yeah, and then if we make any changes to our card or, you know, midweek we're, we're betting on, like, NBA, NHL. Every day. MLB, like, every day. So if you follow us on Twitter, you'll get those picks. If you want to if you feel free of, uh, of writing us. Um, or if you just want to see us lose. If you find enjoyment in that. If you find enjoyment in that. <laughs> like the sick people you are. Um, but we love you. But we love you. Thank you so much for watching. Um, yeah. Uh, Sean, what is the, the promo code? Promo code, as always, is MONEY3. You can find that exclusively on the Action 24-7 Sportsbook. When you use the code MONEY3, you will receive a risk-free bet up to $250 on your first bet. And we'll see you next week. As always, like, subscribe, print money, and giddy up. Giddy, giddy up. up. There's three of us. Let's make some money. Woo! Woo! Woo!